Well, let's uh, continue with uh, news, of course, uh, about Katrada. This, of course, dominating our news this morning. A very, very sad morning for South Africa. Katrada's nephew says the family is grateful for the support that's been received from South Africans across the board. It continues to deteriorate despite the best possible medical care. Mr. Kestrada has uh, pneumonia across the lungs. And remember, he is also, uh, he's just emerged from, from, from intensive surgery on the brain. And all of these complications uh, have, have, have basically indicated to the medical team that he is fighting a battle that looks like he might lose. We always live in hope, uh, as Nishan has said. But we also got to take into account that he is uh, in a critically ill uh, situation. But I'd like to extend, I think, just thanks to the support that we've been receiving across the board from family, from friends, from just multi-faith organizations, etc. And, and we're actually very grateful to that. He's an international figure. And as you can see, there's all big giants visiting him this evening. And to us, he still remains an uncle. And it's very difficult for the family at this time. The mood is somber. Uh, uncle Kathy is uh, certainly not well, but we're still hoping and praying that uh, uh, God will spare him uh, one more time. Uh, because uh, he belongs to a very special generation of South Africans, uh, men and women who spared no effort, no energy, uh, who were single-minded in their commitment to achieve only one mission, that is uh, to end apartheid and replace it with a democratic uh, society. We want to make sure that the good work that Comrade Cathy has done for this country uh, must shine throughout these days. Uh, leaders must speak about his work and we're hoping that uh, this going, is going to be the trend. We really, uh, as you said, hoping for a miracle, uh, but uh, we are here to give the family support ourselves as leaders of the ANC uh, to be here uh, with the family. I saw him just now and of course he's, he, he's still a fighter even at this moment. He can't breathe properly, but he's holding on, he's a fighter. He's a fighter till the bitter end. And that thing about Katrada is a source of inspiration. Was, is, and will continue to be a source of inspiration for all of us. More details, uh, of course, are emerging in terms of his uh, burial, but uh, according to the Ahmed Katrada Foundation, Katrada will be buried according to Muslim religious rites, details of which will be made publicly available in due course. A little bit more about Ahmed Katrada, of course. Katrada had an illustrious political career, uh, having served between 1994 and 1999 as the parliamentary councillor to the late Nelson Mandela. He was born on the 21st of August 1929 in rural Schweizerenica and was introduced to politics as a very young boy when he joined a non-racial youth club run by the Young Communist League. We'll continue to remember Ahmed Katrada throughout this morning.